Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Monday night, and while family's asleep, I thought it'd be fun to do a tech review for the video game section of the Noel Comics YouTube channel. One of my more well-viewed videos was a review for this little device right here. I got it off of Amazon. It's the Universal HDMI to Component Video Game Converter, and one of the cool things about this was that it allows you to do HDMI via the component inputs on your um, you know, CRT sets that have 480i component, okay? So, you know, a lot of the, you know, HDI to um, component things, they'll work on things like 480p, and that'll be nice for like a flat screen, but if you have like a CRT set like this, this uses 480i component and, you know, a lot of the um, component HDMI converters on Amazon will not work on a set like this. And for the longest time, this is the only one I could find. And the video I made of it got a lot of views, a lot of, you know, positive feedback. People were really happy that this thing existed. Um, and I was thinking to myself, well, maybe I should get another one, but I actually uh, couldn't find the listing for this anymore. And truth be told, I was having some issues with this that started to occur after the review. I started getting a lot of really just like kind of crazy, like the, the signal would get like messed up and you'd have to kind of like move the device. And then all of a sudden the signal would kick back to normal. So that was kind of annoying, um, but nevertheless, it worked pretty well. But, you know, I, I got this PBM monitor that has a component, and so I wanted to get a second box, and I couldn't find another one of those. So I did find actually another option that I actually like better on Amazon, and it's this little fella right here. This is the HDMI to YPPR scalar converter right here. And the cool thing about this is that, you know, like the other one, it takes five volts. You know, you can set your HDMI, you know, in to go out. Um, and it's got your component uh, video. But the other cool thing is you have a zoom option because, you know, sometimes what will happen on these things is you'll get like over scan or the picture will not really be right. Um, you know, like say you're trying to plan like a retro, you know, little mini console or something like that. And there's like over scan on it. You can like zoom in and out um, on the converter I just showed you. And that's what's playing right now on this TV. We're watching an old episode of One Life to Live on YouTube. Um, so yeah, this is this is what you get here. Really, really, really nice picture. So if you want to get the most out of your um, you know CRT component TVs, and you want to be able to use HDMI on it, um, I really, really like and recommend this device right here i'll link it in the description if you would like your own but you know this isn't just good for you know watching uh you know 80s one life to live the best soap opera ever poor max tina just said cord's name at the altar and it's just it's just an unfortunate situation but you know what else you can do you can also play video games on this thing so we're actually watching this on the PlayStation 4. So if you wanna play some games on your PlayStation 4 and you don't wanna bother with all these like CRT filters, you wanna play it on the authentic article, this is what will let you do that. So we'll give you a little example right here. Okay, here's my screen. And you know, if we want, we can pop in some Final Fantasy VIII right here. I actually have the, uh, the disc version of Final Fantasy VIII on PS4 because I have problems. Um, and yeah, so, you know, a lot of these older games will uh, look best on a CRT screen, because that's what they were made for. And, you know, here you have it right here. So you're now getting what, you know, the, uh, the RGB quality signal, uh, and you're able to use in, uh, 
you know, HDMI right here. And those scan lines, those are just real scan lines. Nothing, nothing crazy about that right there. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's just, this is what it is. Why don't we, uh, let's check out the intro to Final Fantasy VIII right here. See what this thing can do here. volume up a little bit for you guys. So, you know, I'm not saying, you know, that you should not get a uh, PBM, you know, because PBMs, I think, are the best option. But if you do want consumer grade RGB, and your, your you know, CRT set does component video, and you want to be able to play newer stuff on it, this will get you a really nice clear picture that uh, will definitely suit your retro gaming needs as we see Squall and Cypher uh, hacking and slashing here. And you know, the good thing about TV sets like this is I mean, they're getting harder to find, but, you know, you're definitely going to have easier luck finding one of these, you know, cheap, because these were consumer grade, as opposed to, like, a PBM. Now, I mean, I, I have still noticed some overscan with the PS4 just because of the way that it is. I actually kind of almost put this TV in danger messing around with it in the factory mode. Um, I accidentally did something to make the picture bow out like crazy. Like, I think something inside the TV started freaking out. So I unplugged it, and now it's all back to normal and good. So, you know, and this is what you're seeing. So be careful with factory mode and things like that. Very good, very good. But you know what? I mean, maybe you want something else. You know, maybe you want to play like a new game that was, you know, styled like an old game, like Sonic Mania. Well, you can do that too. Sonic and Knuckles looking nice and crisp. The fun thing about this game is it's like it comes with like CRT filters, but you know, you can just like play it au naturel and you have even better than a CRT filter. Now, you will notice here, you will find, I think, a little uh, overscan here, because you'll see that the rings are getting cut off right there. Um, you know, like I said, if you really do want to go in your factory settings and, you know, see what you can do to fix it, you can do that. But, you know, I don't, I don't recommend it necessarily, because I kind of screwed with things too much, and... Uh, I was afraid I ruined this TV, but it's all good right now, so I'm playing this game with one hand. I'm not really noticing any uh, quote-unquote lag. 
I know that's a biggie for a lot of people. Um, I'd say this this little converter box. I mean, you can see the price that once I look, link it off Amazon, but if memory serves me correctly, I think this thing was like knocking around forty bucks. You know, it's not gonna I'm not gonna kill you. I'm playing this one handed while holding the camera, so. Thank goodness this isn't Sonic 1. In Sonic 1, you get one hit on those spikes and you're done. Okay, so here you're going to get to see what 3D graphics uh, look like on this thing here. And uh, like I said, pretty, uh, pretty nice here. So this is not going to be pretty because... I'm just going to get myself out of time on this here because, you know, I'm not really playing to win. I'm just kind of playing to show you here, but yeah, so, you know. And then yeah, the other cool thing about this is that, you know, you can go download Pluto TV and uh, watch Columbo, which uh, I, I recommend doing. I wonder if Columbo is uh, on right now here. I love Pluto TV. It's, uh, it's so good. All right, let's see if Columbo's on. Come on, Columbo. It's uh, it's loading. But I'll show you Pluto TV, and then we'll wrap this up. Just because, you know, a lot of Pluto TV stuff, it's like, you know, it's older stuff. So, you know, sometimes watching it on a CRT, you know, is uh, optimal. I freaking I hate new crime shows. They're like what Baudrillard calls like hyper real. It's like they're trying to be real, even though they're and they're like super fake. But people think that they're real. Ooh, Cheers is on. Let's hope this is a Diane episode. It's Rebecca. <laughs> that fiery abolitionist. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, so I uh, I highly recommend uh, this little device here. I liked it so much, I bought one for my Trinitron and one for my Trinitron PVM. It is the uh, 4K HDMI PY... Sorry, YPB PR Scalar Converter... Uh, Get it on Amazon, and until next time, guys, my name is Noel. You take care, and I'll see you in the very near future for more fun from the game room on the Noel Comics YouTube channel. Bye-bye.